Well, it's like 5.20 a.m. We both slept a little bit. But the seats are just, like the leg room is just so small. We have like two more hours. We're Kyle and Maddie and we're traveling on just $60 a day as a couple. In our last video, we rented a motorbike and explored cash in the surrounding areas. In today's video, we're taking a very long journey from cash on the coast all the way to Cappadocia in the middle of Turkey. We are so sad that we are leaving cash today. We seriously ended up Love this yeah, we had a great time. It's a beautiful little city, but well, now we're about to go on a pretty long journey to get to Cappadocia, which is in the middle of Turkey. And we are starting by getting on a bus at the bus station. Um, we actually didn't have this bus booked at all. We just came to the bus station hoping that there was room, which there was. Um, but our first bus trip is to Italia. Yep. We just got on and we paid 100 Turkish lira a piece, so here we go. We're only like half an hour in, but we had our first passport check. So you have to make sure you always have an ID on you, because they're always, they always have checkpoints here. But Maddie's just drawing. doing nothing. I'm just sitting there watching out the window. sick or you're afraid of heights this bus ride is not for you because this man just the driver just whips all around these tight turns that are right next to the ocean next to cliffs so it's a little it's a little sketchy got out of our taxi at a mall that has Starbucks at it and it's actually a pretty big mall but I think we're gonna go and see what the food court has <laughs> and then get some coffee and try to get on the Wi-Fi. Okay so we got pizza. Um, it is currently 5 p.m. right now so um, we had this deal going that for 119 Turkish Lira, you could get two pizzas and a Coke. So we did that. And we're gonna eat one pizza now and then save the other pizza for right before we get on the bus because we know we're gonna be hungry a little bit later. Uh, so, yeah, that's our plan. The pizza was all right. All right, so we found Wi Fi. We're just sitting here working, it's like 6 o'clock. We have to be back to the bus station by like 9.30, so we're just gonna work for a while, probably grab a coffee, but yeah. We got some lattes while we sit here. You gotta say, this is probably the weirdest spot we've ever sat and worked. We're literally in the food court of a mall. It's so strange, but works. After like a 30 minute walk, we made it back to our bus, back to the bus station. We're pretty sweaty. It's so hot. It's really hot. We're probably gonna take like a shower with wipes. <laughs> and then we have like a 10 hour bus ride. So hopefully we can get some sleep. <laughs> Oh, 
this is going to be an interesting night. We hardly fit into a seat. And when, if someone were to like sit in front of us on in this back, it's like almost impossible to fit in the seat. So I guess being 6'2 and 5'9 is slightly too dull for this overnight bus. Um, but it, we do fit though. Like it's just like hardly. So I guess we'll see. <laughs> We also do realize that we paid like, like what? It was like 190 Turkish lira a piece, so it's not that expensive. And I know people are gonna say that we're complaining, but it is. We're just telling our experience. Yeah. But the actual bus itself is super nice, and it has like in-seat entertainment, and it actually has outlets and stuff, which is like crazy. It's really nice. Hopefully, they they start the air though, but it should be an interesting bus ride. bus was actually not bad I feel pretty rested actually um, but they did drop us off like 45 minutes early which is crazy it's like never happened before um, but now we're waiting in the Nevashir bus terminal because uh, we're not quite sure how to get to Green where our hotel is um, and it's looking like the nearest bus comes at 9.45 and it's currently like 7. So, we're not sure. So we're fo following a man that is taking us to a random bus that came from Istanbul. And he's gonna have us pay the driver just to get on to drop us off where we need to go. He said it would be 30 lira a piece, so... We're going to a bus that seems legit, so hopefully it works out. <laughs> well, that turned out to be a really good deal. We got <laughs> ended up getting to the town of Gorim or Jorim a lot earlier than a public bus would have taken us and we only paid 60 lira. So, we're just heading to our hotel now to check in. We're able to check in at 8 a.m. What the heck? It's like 7.40 right now. Yep. But, regarding the overnight bus, I agree with Maddie. That was actually pretty good. Like, got to sleep quite a bit. Yeah. Don't feel, I don't feel really tired now, but the leg room is the only issue. Well, we got off the bus, walked like 10 minutes to our hotel, and we checked in at like 8.05, even though check-in was at 8, but we had to call them so they could come to the reception. Yeah, and it is huge here, like gigantic. There's so many rooms, and there's free breakfast up on the terrace, and the rooms are so cool. They're like little cave rooms, yep. and the best part is this was like $30 a night. Yep. But it's really pretty around here, so we're excited to show you tomorrow when we go on a hot air balloon. Yeah, should be fun. So we'll see you then. <laughs>